Today, I want to talk about CMOS latch up. Now here I've shown the cross section of a typical CMOS wafer. The yellow part shows P-type silicon and the green type shows N-type silicon. Now in this region, I have an N-well that would typically house a P-channel transistor. This is my connection to the N-well. The N-well is usually, let me grab it, is usually connected to a positive power supply. And over here, I have a, a P-diffusion region that could be a source of a PFET transistor. And that is very often also connected up to the positive supply. Perhaps it's plus 5 volts. Now over here I have an n-type diffusion that could be a source of an n-fet transistor or an n-channel transistor and that's very often connected to ground. And this is a connection to my substrate or the p-type wafer that's also connected to ground. So what does this all mean? Well, there's a dangerous condition lurking in these layers. And this dangerous condition is called CMOS latch up. So let's understand this. Now, if we look at these layers, here I have a P-type silicon, an N-type silicon, and another P-type silicon. So here I have a P, N, P, transistor. Now if we look over here, I have an n-type silicon, I have a p-type silicon, and I have an n-type silicon. So over here I have an NPN bipolar transistor. So here I have a PNP bipolar transistor, NPN bipolar transistor. So let's draw these bipolar transistors. So I have a, an emitter base junction of a PNP. And over here, I have a base collector junction. And the base of this PNP is connected through a resistor of this N-type material over to the high voltage, or my plus 5 volts in this case. Now my NPN transistor, I have a junction here that can form the base emitter junction of an NPN. I'll draw my NPN here, make it kind of wide. Now over here, I have a base collector junction. And notice that the base of my NPN is the same as the collector of my PNP. Now there will be some resistive material at the base of this NPN. And this resistive material will connect through here to ground. And my emitter connects to ground. And the collector of my NPN, look at that, it comes over here, connects to the base of the PNP. So if we redraw this schematic. Let's scroll down here and redraw the circuit. So over here I have my plus 5 volts and I have my PNP transistor and I have a certain resistance to the supply. This collector feeds into the base of the NPN transistor and the collector of the NPN feeds back to the base of the PNP and this emitter can be grounded and I can have a resistor here also to ground. So this is my ground and this latch is the dangerous condition. Normally in a CMOS process 
this PNP transistor will be in the off condition and this NPN transistor will also be in the off condition. But what happens if, for example, this PNP transistor gets triggered on? Now, how could that happen? For example, let's say that I instantaneously turn on my power supply from zero volts to five volts, just in an instant. Now, if I have some straight capacitance at this node, I can run some current in this base emitter junction into this capacitor. And this, the beta of this PNP can actually be quite good and I can get a significant amount of collector current. And this current can bias this resistor and cause some base current to flow in my NPN and cause this transistor to conduct. And now I'm in a rather a sad situation. This transistor is in the on condition. This transistor over here is in the on condition. And this latch has fired. And when this happens, there's a domino effect. I end up injecting minority carriers and these minority carriers can travel a long distance and they can trigger other parts of the CMOS chip to also latch up. And you don't want that to happen. Now, other things that can trigger this latch is, is if this emitter of this PNP can somehow get biased above the supply voltage, then that, that can fire the latch. If this emitter of the NPN can ever go below ground, I can fire the latch. We don't want that to happen. So there are some safeguards that can take place in the layout of this CMOS circuit. For example, I can put another P diffusion in here and tie that to ground. That will lower this resistance R and it'll tend to kill the beta of this NPN transistor. Another thing I can do is I can put an extra N plus in this N well. I can lower, in effect, lower this resistance in the base, and that will help prevent latch up. Another thing I can do is I can separate this N region further from this N well, and that will lower the beta of the NPN transistor and help to prevent the latch from ever turning on. So if this latch ever fires, again, there's a domino effect and the whole CMOS chip can latch up and the entire chip can heat up to the point where it will burn your finger and it can burn the metallization on the chip. So it's definitely a condition you want to avoid.